Hello everyone. These are Evelyn and Iroh's Welsh Terrier puppies born October 12th. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there. Sorry, I had an escapee. Uh, they are f going to be five weeks old this Monday. Today's Saturday. So we are just about to begin the, the beginning of the puppy picking process. Oops, your collar's getting loose. Um, so we are not too puppy picking yet, but this is kind of the beginning where I start to tell you the, the differences in personalities that I have seen. Um, this litter is, let's see, about a half a week younger than Clara's litter. And, um, Claire's litter is definitely showing way more personality and you can watch the video and see a couple days make such a difference at this age. So they're not really quite at the age that I even feel like I can start telling you too much about them yet. So um, I will get a video middle of, of next week and if, I, if the personalities are showing like I like them to be, then we'll begin the picking then. And if they're not, then we'll begin next Saturday. Um, but I'll still do a midweek video to kind of just, they'll, they'll definitely be starting to show it at the very least on next week. Um, so I always, I'll, I'll describe what I'll be doing so that I don't have to repeat myself next week. Um, but what I always do with puppy picking is I describe most energetic to least energetic. And um, that really is how an outgoing alpha Airedale presents themselves at this age. Boy, I should have moved all these chairs because they're just hiding under them. Um, so when I'm describing most energetic to least energetic, um, the most energetic is going to be your alpha. Um, they're going to be the one that is the most outgoing, um, curious, interested in new things. Like when I open the door, they, that one's usually the first one to come out. Um, they're a little bit more independent typically. And the least energetic a lot of times presents himself as a very scared and shy puppy, which I would say that's going to be green. Um, but, it, and people are always, always afraid that, oh, well, I don't want to pick the most laid back one because they don't look quite as fun in the videos. And you want a puppy that's going to play and be outgoing a Welsh. You're, you're getting a Welsh and you want him to act like it. You do not have to worry about that. That is not a worry. You can go back and look at it. Our past videos and and check it four and five weeks and then again at eight weeks and every puppy is always bouncing off the walls that's just how a more laid-back terrier presents themselves at this age this is just how they are at this age i'm gonna have to move this stool beep 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 look out guys um <laughs> i did change the collar same colors but um all of these of Evelyn's puppies now have, if this camera would focus, little paw prints on them, and Clara's have stripes. Um, I just wanted to differentiate. And they will also be getting their microchips uh, probably Monday. So they are doing really great. They're growing up fast. Um, so I I don't even have, I feel like, of the males, it's, I would say, probably going to be that blue is the more outgoing and green is the more laid back. He's definitely appearing to be the most laid back of the litter at this time. But it's definitely too early for me to, to proclaim that because, oh, sorry, you have a hair on your head I was going to get because I've, I've seen them change at this age. Oh, honey, I didn't mean to scare you. Look at those tails a wagon. And um, size-wise, honestly, size doesn't make much difference in a Welsh. It's already very a hard thing to predict. In an Airedale, size can vary five to ten pounds. So you're you're thinking more about it when you're picking your Airedale. But in a Welsh, we're talking maybe one or two pound difference. It's not much. Uh, the two males are pretty much the same size. I'll show you Green's face. Got something on his face. Oh, now you're not either of you gonna look. There's blue. And of the females, pink is looking to be my most outgoing. Again, these are just predictions at this point. Um, nothing solidified, but she just seems like it. She's got a lighter head. A lot of times, 
Color is another thing that's very hard to predict because um, Welsh's get adult hair at six to nine months, that wiry hair. And that is a time that you might notice a little bit of shedding. They do a little bit shed their puppy hair. Um, not too bad, but. Um, and when they get that adult hair, sometimes it comes in totally different. So it's hard to predict, but if you look at their faces, that's kind of your best shot at guessing. Man, she looks, Iroh has a really dominant, I don't know, every one of his litters so far, there's been at least one puppy that looks just like him. And this is, this is her in this litter. It's just something about the face. I don't know what it is. But you can tell that she's a little bit lighter. She's got lighter colors kind of on the nose. Uh, this is pink, by the way. You can all, you look at kind of the rich color of the brown, and that can kind of tell you if they're going to be more of a grizzle and tan or um, a dark black and tan. Like she's, red's kind of got a, well, it's hard to say. She's got an iro look too. So Red, it was a little runt. She's really, she's still on the petite side, but she's caught up a lot, and she still has that big white spot on her chest. That might go away, though. Again, when that adult hair comes in, things change. Why does your collar keep doing that, buddy boy? Um, so yeah, of the females, it's looking like pink's the most outgoing, and red in the middle, and then purple being the most laid back. But we will determine that more in the coming week. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to think what else do I usually point out. For people that um, have other dogs, it's really important to think about alpha. If you have a really alpha dog that's very protective and dominant and territorial and kind of thinks that they are the only dog in the world. Come on, I'm sorry, my camera. It's a really nice camera and it has issues focusing really annoys me and I'm sure it annoys you. Um, so if you have a dog like that, then you are going to want to pick the more laid back puppy. Now, if you do pick the alpha, so what happens? So a puppy is naturally submissive. So you bring them into your home and no matter what the personality of the older dog, that older dog is going to be alpha in that situation. The puppy naturally will submit. They might annoy the crud out of them, but, um, they are not going to challenge their dominance. And then as they grow up, it kind of just slowly happens on its own. The puppy, if they're going to challenge the older dog's dominance, you might see a little bit of kind of wrestling and, and tussles. But for the most part, it happens on its own. So even if you do get two alphas, yeah, they might constantly be sort of challenging each other. But they do learn to grow up and, and live together. And now that's... Uh, if you're getting them all fixed. If you're not, there are some different factors involved, but most people are all getting them fixed, which I would recommend. So they're adorable as ever. And at this point, I don't have too terrible much more um, to tell you about them because like I said, it's just a little premature. And when I try to guess, then a lot of times I just confuse people. Green's got like, you see that one little spot of white and pink has literally got like one hair of white <laughs> none on purple come here sorry to break up your pile and a little bit on blue um so at this point when you are watching the videos with your family uh, i would like you to even now, with you don't even have that much information, but to get you thinking about it, I would like you to um, just all of you come up with in your amongst your family. Like if you're second to pick um, from the females, then kind of put in order who you guys are thinking uh, that you would pick. It just kind of helps when the time comes that you sort of already have talked about it and discussed it. And yeah, there's not it's not like Claire's litter where there's five females, so it won't be so bad, but kind of speeds thing along. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend and I will talk to you next week.